Hello internet people, my name is Goalie. I'm bringing you guys a video today. It's actually going to be part one of a new series. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play all the new game modes that are in Call of Duty Go. So this is episode number one of how to play all the new game types in Call of Duty Ghosts. We're going, going to be going over Blitz uh, today. Personally, my favorite of all the new game modes in Call of Duty Ghosts. So I'm very excited for this episode. So let's get started right away. So Blitz is basically CTF, except you don't have to bring the flag back to your own base. So what you do in Blitz is there is are there two uh, there are two objectives or rings or portals whatever you want to call them that are on each side of the map and what your objective is to do is to get to the other side of the map and try and and or try and make it in that enemy's little ring or portal and that's how you score points so once you enter that portal you'll automatically be transported back to your own base back to safety actually not that's not entirely true I did <laughs> I, I did have a funny moment where I got teleported off map and I died instantly ending my kill streak. But you know, it's the game's brand new and there's some mistakes like that out there. It was just a funny incident though. So you'll be teleported back to your base after you score those points. After you enter that portal and score the that point. Every time you enter the portal, you'll you'll score 1 point for your team. After you enter that portal though, this is a really key part and I see a lot of new players that are just brand new to Blitz screw this part up there is a 10 second countdown timer on that ring so once you're so let's say you have two guys at the enemy base and so your other friendly guy goes into the ring you have to wait 10 seconds now before you can go in and try and make another cap so there's a 10 second cooldown timer before you can actually cap another object or another portal objective or ring whatever you want to call it so this game mode, guys, is really OBJ-oriented, and it's very team-oriented. It's very easy for an OBJ player, an OBJ player on the other team, to sneak around behind you and get an easy cap. So I'm going to be telling you guys some roles, giving you guys some ideas and tips for the rest on how to actually play Blitz. So I've basically established how Blitz is played, so now we need to know how to play Blitz. So there's basically going to be three roles that you can play in Blitz. You can play your defenders your slayers or your obj and those are going to be your three your three roles that you can basically play in blitz now the defenders the defenders are a huge huge part of blitz you need someone defending your base because otherwise the enemy team's just going to have free reign they're just going to go score 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 and it's just not going to be good you're going to lose the game automatically so whether you like to sit back behind the objective and do that kind of work or if you can designate someone on your team to go ahead and do that if you're playing in a party, you need to do that. So what I'm going to recommend is basically using an AR or even a shotgun when you're playing defense. You kind of don't want to camp in corners, but you want to like patrol the area. So if you guys can have like two guys that are kind of roaming around the back and the defensive part of the base where the portal is, you really, that's what you kind of really need to do, especially on some maps where there's an underpass and there's an overpass. It can be really easy to cap some of these objectives, so you just have to be really careful about what you do in terms of this. So, the other role, the mid role that we're going to talk about now is the Slayer. Now, the Slayer, it's obviously, it's, <laughs> its title is obvious what you're doing. Basically, you are killing everything that you can on the map. You're trying to earn, your, earn score streaks for your team so that you can use those score streaks later on in the game. But, keep this in mind. If someone on your team goes down, like if say let's say one of your OBJ guys goes down and you're close to capping an objective, or one of your defenders goes down and the enemy is close to capping an objective, you have that leeway to basically back off or go and attack. So you're basically that floater player. You can decide whether, oh crap, one guy on my team just went down. I'm gonna drop back and help my team out because we don't know where my teammate's gonna spawn. So basically, you're you're allowed to float around the map, and you, your job is just to help overall win the game. Like you want to get those kills, you want to get those score streaks, but you have to do whatever it takes to win the game if you want to play uh, your Slayer role properly. Now the last role, and this is probably the most simplistic role, but it's probably the hardest role to do sometimes in this game, and that is OBJ objective work. Um, so basically, in OBJ, your goal is to obviously get into that ring 
and score points for your team. And this is this is harder said than done. Um, obviously, on some maps, there are going to be areas that you can sneak in and go in. So you're just going to have to kind of coordinate with your other OBJ guy because you don't want to be both going for the blitz zone at the same time. Like, say, hey, man, I'm one way from my guard dog. I want to go for this objective uh, and instead, instead of him going in. So you just kind of got to call that out, like work together as a pair of OBJ guys. So basically stick together or you, you can either go off your separate ways, like go under and on top of the map and just play as sneaky as possible. That's a very good way. I saw, <laughs> I, I've seen some gameplay of actually it was an eights lobby where Karma was playing in Karma Envy from Team Envious, which is a pro team on um, the MLG circuit. And there was one... There was one player on the other team that was 0-20, but he had 8 caps for his team. So, I don't necessarily saying that going 0-20 is a good thing. You're just basically feeding your team the other streaks. But he allowed, he allowed his team to win by getting him those 8 caps. So, that really shows how crucial OBJ is in this game. So, I hope you guys really did enjoy this commentary. I actually had a lot of fun making it and scripting it a little bit and telling you guys what to do in Blitz. Blitz is probably my new favorite game mode, especially with the fact that it is replacing like CTF and Hardpoint on the competitive circuit. As you guys know, I'm a competitive player. I like this game mode a lot. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to leave likes, comments, and rates down in the comments section below. All that wonderful stuff. I have no clue what I just said. But until next time, guys, I'm going to have to say, yeah, what I'm going to do.